Let's get to another segment of the writer's block. Say what? Robert Kraft, the stately wow. owner of the New England Patriots, arrested in a, uh, in a, in a uh, human trafficking sting, uh, arrested for uh, solicitation uh, of prostitution in uh, Jupiter, Florida. Out of all the stories that come around the pike, uh, Cedric, this is one we did not see. What do you make of Robert Kraft getting caught up in this sex sting? He had the nerve to go to the Oscars. I mean, this guy has no shame in his game. Uh, 77 years old, all I got to say, Barry, is Viagra is a hell of a drug. Good for Robert Kraft, but uh, got to question the judgment of a guy who's worth $7 billion going go to a CD massage parlor. Um, you know, that's not something I'm into. I can't speak for everybody, but if I could use uh, just a little uh, abstract example of it, uh, if you're ordering pizza, if you order from Domino's, why are you driving to Domino's? Aren't they supposed to deliver? I mean, uh, I don't think there are going to be any FBI cameras in the Kraft Mansion. So uh, for him to be caught up, out in the streets, pulling up at that to one of those CD joints in a white Bentley. Are you kidding me, Barry? I mean, what is this guy thinking? What do you What do you think those investigators were thinking when they were watching the videotape and a white Bentley pulls up and and Bob Kraft gets out of the back and rolls in there with a pocket full of hundreds? That's just nuts, man. That those stories write themselves. Well, they do. If you work in that kind of uh, law enforcement, you probably uh, have seen it all. Well, here's what I wonder. How much does this stain the New England Patriot and the, and the Robert Kraft legacy? You know, this is not a, a franchise uh, that's been void of controversy. Bill Belichick with, uh, with the spy gate uh, basically cheating. Tom Brady caught up in deflate gate with the, with the footballs. Uh, you certainly didn't expect the owner to be uh, all of a sudden making headline news, but now he is. It's just one thing after another with football's greatest dynasty, what do you think this does to the Patriot legacy? Uh, what it does to the Patriots legacy is it's just another, just another small blip on a, on a gold-plated uh, radar. Here's the thing. History is always much more uh, forgiving, kinder, embracing of winners. If Bob Kraft was the owner of the, if he was Mark Davis, who hasn't won anything since his dad died of the Oakland Raiders, He'd be getting eviscerated, but he's Bob Kraft. He's got what six Super Bowl rings. Only the Steelers have have the same amount. So he'll survive this. Rich men in America always survive scandals. This is a misdemeanor. He won't do one day in jail. He'll he'll pay a hefty fine. Release a statement saying that you know it happened. Uh, it's unfortunate. I'm sorry. Who do we play next? You're probably white. He probably right he he will um face some uh he'll face some uh, discipline from the nfl a suspension a hefty fine the question is how much that we don't know uh let's get to our final installment yeah, you think about it barry yes. um he'll get a fine it'll be hefty but last i checked bob Kraft has never thrown a touchdown pass he's never made a tackle and he's and he's never run the football the new england patriots as long as belichick and brady are running things are going to be right where they need to be.